Hi everyone, in this video we're going to discuss the three ways to solve a trick question. Let's look at this first example of solving for a side with a variable in the denominator. So the first thing I'm going to always do is write out my acronym SOKOTOA. Next, let's label. So 21 is my central angle, 4 is going to be opposite, and X is next to, so it's my adjacent. So notice I have O, A, which out of my SOKOTOA has O, A? That would be my tangent. So I'm going to have tan of 21 is equal to my opposite, which is 4, over my adjacent, which is X. Now notice my variable is in the denominator, so when this happens, I'm going to switch positions with the tan of 21. So I'm going to have X is equal to 4 divided by tan of 21. So I'm going to go to my calculator, type in 4 divided by tan of 21. Don't forget, you have to be in degree mode. I should get 10.42, so we're going to go with 10.4. Don't forget that when your variables in the denominator, you switch positions. Let's look at the next one. Solving for a side with a variable in the numerator. So again, I'm going to write out SOKOTOA. I'm going to locate my central angle, which is my 30 degrees, and I'm going to label. X is going to be opposite, and my 12 is going to be the hypotenuse. I have an O, and I have an H. OH, which part of SOKOTOA has OH? The SO part, which is sine. So I'm going to have sine of 30 is equal to opposite, which is X, over the hypotenuse, which is 12. Put this all over 1 and cross multiply. So I have x is equal to 12 times sine of 30. Let's put that in our calculator. 12 times sine of 30. And we should get 6. So x is going to be equal to 6. And lastly, in our third problem, we're going to be solving for an angle. So again, I'm going to write out my acronym SOKOTOA. Let's look for our central angle, which is at X, and we're going to label. 3 is my opposite, it's across from the central angle, and the 5 is my hypotenuse because that's across from the 90 degree angle. So I have an O and an H. Which one represents O and H? That's going to be sine. So I have sine of X is equal to my opposite, which is 3, all over my hypotenuse, which is 5. Now remember, if we're looking for the angle, we have to press on our calculator second sine. and then type in our ratio 3 over 5. So let's go into our calculator. Second sine 3 divided by 5. And we'll get 36.86, so round to the nearest tenth, we're going to get 36.9. And those are the three ways to solve a trigger question.